We've all heard or read about messages in a bottle. There's a level of mystery and fascination surrounding them. Who wrote them? How long ago? Where is that person now? And this story is no different. It involves the September 11th attacks, a grieving girlfriend, and my alma mater, the University of Scranton. Asbury Park Press reporter Jerry Carino received two letters recently at his office. The letters were recovered from a bottle that washed up in Seaside Park many, many years ago. A husband had found them, handed them to his wife, and for whatever reason, she held on to them until the 15th anniversary of 9-11. All the couple asked was that the person at the newspaper handle them appropriately. My first thought was I should, you know, find this person, find Sue and return her letters or offer to return them. And then uh, my second thought was, you know, maybe there's a good story here, a good human interest story, but only if Sue and the Kelly family was on board with it. It never, you know, I was never going to put the contact of the letter, the letters, they were just way too personal. The notes were written by Sue McGee, now Villanova, to her boyfriend who passed away in the 9-11 attacks. William Kelly Jr., also known as Billy, was 30 years old when he passed away. He was there for a one-day conference at Windows on the World. So what would have been on Billy's 34th and 35th birthday, Sue wrote these letters. Then, along with Billy's mother, Sue went and tossed the letters into the sea at the Barnegat Lighthouse. I mean, I guess I, I thought they would possibly go across the ocean. Um, I never dreamed that they would land five miles away is uh, pretty funny. I think we joked about that. They didn't get very far. And I think in my head, I kind of feel like Bill's laughing about it because he probably thought it was so corny and he, that I did that. Billy was a graduate of the University of Scranton, a Bloomberg employee and loved by all. And he was just a people person. People at the shore just loved him. He was a good friend and a loyal friend. For Sue, writing these letters was a form of grieving. Now, 15 years later, the Kelly family and Sue are in a better place. Well, that's powerful. I mean, I swoon for love letters. Where can I see them? Or is it, there's no way to see no, them? No, uh, there's no way to see them. She didn't want to share them. And that was actually something she was concerned about when Jerry, the reporter, first reached out. She thought, oh my goodness, I hope these letters are not all over the internet, which they weren't. So the Kelly started an annual golf outing that benefits a scholarship to the University of Scranton in Billy's memory. The scholarship ranks in the top 10% of all endowments at the University of Scranton. And as for Sue, Sue is now married with a toddler, so she does go to the golf outing every year with her husband now. And we're so very proud of it. This is, this is the best, and this is the celebration of Billy's life.